Of course, the big story of the week is the sexual assault allegations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. It's led to a fierce debate about exactly how many justices accused of sex offences can you have on the bench at one time. <laughs> the answer is nine. <laughs> Technically, you can have nine. <laughs> Dr. Christine Ford, the first woman to accuse Kavanaugh, is set to testify before the Senate on Thursday. But most Republicans seem to have already made their minds up. Do you believe the accusers at all or not? Well, I, I think she's mistaken. This has been really a drive-by attack. Is there really enough evidence here, given the nature of the allegation, how old it is, and the uncertain nature of it? How old are the allegation is, you're a Republican. <laughs> old, old things are your whole deal. The, 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 the Constitution, the Bible, you, you yourself <laughs> are very old. In the meantime, another woman has come forward accusing Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her in college. But Republicans are still desperate to see their nominee confirmed. In the very near future, Judge Kavanaugh will be on the United States Supreme Court. Don't get rattled by all of this. We're going to plow right through it and do our job. Come on, mate. Choose your words better. <laughs> yes, our guy... <laughs> ..is being accused of sexual assault, but don't worry. We're going to ram Kavanaugh in whether you like it or not. <laughs> Just lie back and try to relax. Since Dr Ford went public, we're learning more about Kavanaugh's hard-drinking teenage ways. In fact, his high school crowd seemed to have something of a reputation. Fortunately, we had a, we had a good saying that we've, we've held firm to, to, the, uh, to this day, as the dean uh, was reminding me before, uh, before the talk, which is what happens at Georgetown Prep stays at Georgetown <laughs> Prep. That's been a good thing for all of us, I think. <laughs> That was the saying? What happens here stays here? Nobody says what happens here stays here in reference to good things. <laughs> it's not like a doctor in Las Vegas cured cancer and was like, I've done it! <laughs> oh, but f why did I do it in Vegas? <laughs> oh, I can't tell anyone if I wasn't such a stickler for the rules. Kavanaugh says he will give the Senate calendars he kept from 1982 when the assault allegedly happened in order to disprove Dr Ford's story. Oh, I, I didn't know he had a calendar. Oh, good, he's got a calendar. <laughs> we, we don't need forensic experts anymore. <laughs> OK, well, the DNA matches and the fingerprint matches, but the suspect's calendar says no murder, so... <laughs> oh, this case has gone cold. <laughs> what? Why does he still have calendars from 1982? <laughs> Frankly, I don't want him on the Supreme Court just because he's a hoarder. <laughs> hey, throw some shit out, Brett. Maybe your sister will talk to you again. <laughs> Why not just withdraw Kavanaugh's nomination? Why are Republicans so willing to stand behind him? The J Justice Department for 45 years has taken the position and still does, that a sitting president may not be indicted while still in office. Oh, right. Not only is he anti-choice, but he's also got Trump's back in the Mueller investigation. I guess Brett Kavanaugh is all about forcing people to keep things they don't want anymore. <laughs> all the way to the end of term. <laughs> Imagine if you could get rid of Trump with too much vitamin C and a coat hanger. <laughs> uh, we're not putting up a visual for that? <laughs> It's crazy that this is the guy the Republicans are sticking with. Supreme Court nominees have been withdrawn for way less. In 1987, Ronald Reagan's nominee, Douglas Ginsburg, had to withdraw when it came out that he'd smoked pot. In 1922, Pierce Butler's nomination was refused because of his support of railroad interests. And before that, Thomas Stanley Matthews was deemed controversial because of his railroad interests. Forget allegations of sexual assault. Trains! <laughs> Which makes me wonder, <laughs> has anyone asked Brett Kavanaugh about his railroad interest? <laughs> What's he hiding? I'm sure if we took a good look at his calendar, we'd... Oh, no! Oh! I knew it! He's a track whore! <laughs> 
That settles it. Call your senators. Demand a full investigation of Brett Kavanaugh's railroad interests. <laughs> the GOP might be able to overlook multiple accusations of sexual assault. But just wait until they discover that Brett Kavanaugh is a caboose lover. 